What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk, and we're back with another audio video, but this time, we're gonna be talking about StreamYard. And I know, I know, I know, we've done multiple StreamYard sound audio things. Um, this one, we're gonna be dealing with new controls that StreamYard has just rolled out um, that allows both the guest and the host in the system to control the volume level. So you don't have the ability to control your volume level, but it sounds a little low. This is the video. So without any further ado, let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology at home, for their families, and at work for career success. And in this video, we're going to be talking about new audio controls, sound controls that StreamYard has just rolled out for both the host and the guest to really maximize that sound and get a good, clean balance, um, especially for your podcasters who are, you know, rec using this audio recording to put out something for later use or for even live broadcasts. You have a guest that's in the broadcast and their audio is just a little low. People are actually sending those comments in saying, hey, we can't hear him. Whether they have the ability to do it or not, whether they know how to do it or not, this video is gonna show you the steps that you need to do. So without any further ado, let's jump in. So here we are on my desktop and we're looking at two Chrome sessions one is incognito that's the one in the black and one is a regular uh chrome session and i have Streamyard already pulled up and you can see it i'm logged in i'm going to go into the test room and as soon as i click there i'm just going to grab this link at the top that's the link to the test room just in case you did not know i'm muting my myself and the camera from the session here and i'm going to enter the broadcast studio and so now i'm in so there we are on this side, I'm going to paste that session in. Again, you could come through here. You can click on invite. You could copy that link to the clipboard that way. Um, but I just simply copied it from the URL bar here at the top, paste it here, hit enter. And so because I'm in as an incognito on this side, um, it's treating me like a guest. So it doesn't know who I am. So it's even picked up a different camera here. And and right away, this is what I wanna show you. So I'm gonna just name myself Test. And so for your guests, or if you are a guest in StreamYard, in somebody else's live stream, here's where, you, where the new settings are. You wanna click on Cam Mic, go to Audio, and you'll see here that things have changed. <laughs> they, they keep on changing some of this stuff. Echo cancellation is checked. By default, that's turned on. Um, if you hover your mouse over here, you'll see, do not turn this off unless you have high quality microphone and are wearing headphones. See, they've gotten real clear with this now. So I wanna make sure that, you know, um, the HIAW family and audience is clear on this as well. You only turn off echo cancellation if you don't, if you have on headphones. If you don't have headphones, you wanna leave this checked because you'll create a loop and we don't want the loop. So that's what's there. Um, you'll notice that stereo audio is grayed out if echo cancellation is checked. So those two options are there. And stereo audio, again, for all my pro uh, audio users for Houses of Faith or for musicians, um, full band with a soundboard, all that stuff, you're going into StreamYard or into your stream. You want to make sure that, first of all, echo cancellation is checked, is unchecked, right? then that'll allow you the opportunity to check the stereo audio um, option and then you can push your content right into the stream that way the same it's the same um options you'll see for the host if you are the host you have these same options and i'll show you that in a second um on the other side of the window but i want to uh, even here, like I mentioned, we're here as a guest on this side. We're here as a guest. So I am a regular guest coming into somebody else's stream. I don't have on headphones, so I'm going to leave echo cancellation there. I don't care about stereo audio. I'm not playing any instruments. Um, I don't have a professional microphone. Um, and, I'm, and here it just says adjust, automatically adjust micro, mic volume. So if you hover over the question mark here, it says disable this option to manually adjust your mic volume. And so you can already see, you know, my mic volume here and it's like, okay, that's, that's a, 
it looks like it's being picked up pretty good so that's that's decent um but if you uncheck this box you get a slider this is huge this is huge because you never had the ability before to turn your mic up um, if, if you didn't have a professional microphone. So now, even with your laptop or whatever, you can actually grab this and slide it up a little bit. But let's say, hey, you're just coming into the stream. You don't know how your, your audio sounds. So, you know, check the box. Allow StreamYard to automatically uh, adjust your mic volume as the show goes on. So we're going to leave it like that. We're going to hit the X here. And we're going to actually enter the studio by clicking enter broadcast studio. So now we're in the studio and now I'm in the studio. I'm a guest. I'm in the studio and I'm like, man, I'm seeing the comments. Folks are saying, hey, Kirk, your, your volume is a little low. Um, can you turn it up here again? Here's how you do this. You go to cam mic. You go back to audio again. You're back in this same screen. Hey, clearly. You know, StreamYard's not adjusting your audio properly, so you want to check, uncheck that box and push your thing, push your volume up a little bit, and and you know, allow people to, to to tell you how's that sound, how's that sound, does that sound better? Okay, good. This is probably something you want to do backstage. Let me not say backstage, but prior to going live, prior to your show, I always make sure that all my guests get into the uh, get into StreamYard, get into the studio at least a half hour, if not more, before the show. Definitely more if I know we're going to be testing out things, you know, virtual backgrounds, uh, sharing screens, pre presentations, all that kind of stuff. I want to make sure we test all that stuff before we go live. I want to make sure that that stuff's going to go well. So that's a better time to test the sound so you can say to your producer, you can say to your show host, how does that sound? I'm adjusting my volume levels. How does that sound? So that's how you do that. And I'm just going to put this back to 100. I'm going to check this box again. I'm going to leave it the way that it is. And I'm so again, this side of the screen, this is the guest and over here is the host. So this is where usually where I sit. Sometimes I'm producing my own show. You can see the, the, the background there for how it all works. But other times I'm producing other people's show and I'm not even on screen. So you're, I'm, I'm totally invisible just the way that I am now where my camera and microphone are off. But I am in there because I am managing the stream. So I'm managing the stream and I'm seeing where. Uh, even the host and and people in the comments are saying, hey, that this guy test his uh, his volume is not good. Test doesn't know how to turn up his volume himself. So I can come in here. I can click on the three buttons on on his screen. I can click on edit mic settings. And now I get the same options. Right. So then I can say, OK, clearly automatically adjusting his volume is not working. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to pull his audio up and I'll just listen for it to see, you know, is that better? Is that better? Is that better? And um, I just love that that StreamYard has has listened to the cries of the people by doing this, because the second thing that's here is especially for me as a producer um, who's backstage trying to get people prepped and ready. Sometimes I'll say, hey, since you have on headphones, turn off echo cancellation. They don't know what I'm talking about. And walking through them through the steps can sometimes be tedious. I love the fact that I can now come in here, go to the guest and just turn it off myself, because if they have on headphones um, and they have a professional microphone that they can turn up the gain, they're pretty good. Here's the other thing. Even if they don't have a professional microphone, I can turn up the gain. So the headphone piece is really the only factor that's required, in my opinion, uh, for echo, echo cancellation. Now, of course, when you hover over the question mark here, it says, um, do not turn this off unless your guest has high quality microphone, has a high quality microphone and is wearing headphones. I mean, the high quality microphone part is kind of relative. So totally up to you, use your discretion. But I love the fact that they have given this ability to the producer now to be able to say, hey, this is here. Let me make that change for you on your behalf uh, instead of waiting in and, and walking you through these invisible steps and hoping that they're going to find the right thing and click the right button. So this is how you do that on this side. So that's pretty cool um, for the host themselves. Right. Um, if I if I come into cam mic and if I go to audio as, as well, and I've, of course, I have that same option for myself, but I 
would not do that if I'm producing a show where I'm not a part of the show. You, you get what I'm saying? So um, I just wanted to show you that even if you are self-producing a show like I do on Mondays, every Monday I have my own show and I produce it myself live while I'm hosting the show, I, I can actually adjust my volume. But I don't need this volume because I have my own volume on my you know, in my studio here for myself, I can adjust my own. So as you can see, even here on the screen, echo cancellation is already off. Stereo audio is on. Um, it's saying automatically adjust mic volume. I may end up just unchecking that so that I can adjust my own volume myself. Do you get what I'm saying? So hopefully this is as clear as it gets, man. I just, I really am thankful to StreamYard for making this possible for us and bringing these types of uh, this level of granularity to the audio game um, for us to be able to have a cleaner stream, have a cleaner recording, level up on our pr production value. So hope this was good. So yeah, that's it. That's it. Those are all of the different steps. Uh, we showed you how to control the audio as a guest. Um, and, and I used a, a incognito tab to do that. Uh, but you can mimic that in whatever way you see or deem necessary. If you are a guest on somebody's show, those are the steps that you need to do to do that. If you are a producer, you, you are running a show, whether you're in it or not, you need to turn somebody's audio up just a little bit. This is one of the ways you can do that. But bear in mind those pitfalls. I just want to keep that in mind. You want to make sure that if you do not have headphones on, you leave that echo cancellation alone. <laughs> Just want to keep that out there because this is a recurring theme you're going to hear in every video I do when I talk about sound. So, yeah, I hope hopefully that was useful for you. Hopefully, you know, that's going to give you the next level up in your live streaming, um, allow you to have some good, clean sound. Somebody told me the other day, man, if. You know, people will endure bad video, but they will not endure bad sound because, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, what are we what are we really here for? You want to hear what the person has to say. You want to consume the information that they are sharing. And if, if their audio is no good, then you can't do that. <laughs> so that's the whole point. Um, and so, yes, you want to make sure your sound is right. You want to make sure your sound is right. You want to make sure your sound is right. Hopefully this was um, good. Hopefully you got something from it and you can hit that smash, you know, and you can smash that like button. You can share this video with friends. Um, as some of you may know, others may not. We have arrived at our first goal, which is a thousand subscribers. Very excited about that. Just happened recently. Um, that is our first goal. We our next goal is to get to the 4000 watch hours and we're about 50, 1500, somewhere there, 1500 hours shy of that. So we're just asking that folks would share the, our videos and that you would binge the, watch the content if you want to help us, you know, get to that stage and into that range. Um, but these are some milestones for us here at How It All Works here on the channel. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for checking us out. And if you haven't subscribed already and you're new here, welcome to the family H.I.A.W. Live show Mondays, 530 Central Standard Time, 630 in the East, 330 in the West. We deal with all kinds of stuff, seeking to understand how it all works. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that we, you know, put some of the puzzle pieces together for you and, um, you know, got, help you to level up your own, on your, your live stream sound in StreamYard. And uh, somewhere in the course of the video, we are hoping and praying that you are able to figure out how it all works. I'll see you in the next video.